welcome back to Image Kenya TV. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you so much. A few weeks ago, I visited Kampara City in Uganda, and I wanted to go over 10 things that shocked me about Kampara. If you don't know, Kampara is the capital city of Uganda and the largest city in Uganda. So please join us in this tour. Watch until the very end. Kindly like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you so much. The first thing that shocked me about Kampara is the number of motorcycles or border borders in Kampara streets. There are so many guys and I've never seen that many border borders in one place like I did while I was in Kampara. There are so many and it's scary driving, even walking or even riding on them. There are so many, so many guys. Kampara is also known as the city of seven hills and you know why it's referred to a city of seven hills because Kampara is surrounded by seven hills that makes it look so beautiful so when you visit Kampara make sure you notice those seven hills Another thing that shocked me about Kampara is the traffic congestion. Let me tell you guys, there's a lot of traffic jams in Kampara. And when you visit Kampara, be prepared, be patient. You get where you're going, but it will take a minute. So just be patient. And uh, they are now building roads. Hopefully it will get better when they do that. shocked me about Kampara is their food. Their food is so yummy and tasty and you can't resist it. They have a lot of produce and they eat very healthy. So while you are in Uganda, please make sure you try out their roasted chicken, their roasted light bananas, and the breaded peanuts. It's so yummy guys and you can resist it.
Another thing that shocked me while I was in Kampara is the number of red roofs that they have there. They use these red bricks to make their houses and their roofs. So if you go to a neighborhood, a residential neighborhood and look around, all you see is a sea of red roofs. And I've never seen such a thing all my life. But it's so beautiful. Another thing that shocked me about Kampara is how modern it is. There is a lot of modern buildings coming up. There's a lot of skyscrapers, industries, and also apartments that are coming up in Kampara. And it's one of the fastest growing cities in Africa. Another thing that shocked me about Kampara is how hot it is. It is very hot in Kampara and if you're not used to hot weather, it can it can be quite uncomfortable, especially at night um, when sleeping if you don't have air conditioning. Uh, so uh, if you visit Kampara, just uh, carry light clothes, don't carry don't carry uh, heavy clothes and also when it rains it rains a lot in Kampara and when it rains it floods a lot as I told you guys earlier Kampara is surrounded by hills so all the water comes to the city and it floods a lot Another thing that shocked me about Kampara is their currency. If you're not used to their currency, it can be quite overwhelming. Uh, so we went out with some friends to get some coffee. And after we got our bill, it was about 60,000 Uganda shillings. And if you're not used to getting such a huge bill, it can shock you. And it shocked me when I got that bill. Another thing about Kampara, it's not quite shocking, but I thought maybe I would have issues with the language barrier, but I didn't get that. Uh, most people are able to converse in English while in Kampara. Maybe when you get out of outside the city, then maybe you can have issues or a problem in language barrier, but I didn't get that. Uh, but most people are friendly that I interacted with. They are very friendly and welcoming. The final thing that shocked me while I was in Kampara is the number of policemen and police women in the streets of Kampara. If you're not, I'm not used to that many policemen where I am from, but there were so many, and it can be quite shocking if you're not used to that. Exploring downtown Kampara was an absolute delight. This city is a mix of culture, history, and warmth of its people. I hope you enjoyed this tour as much as I did. Please remember to like, to share, to leave a comment, and to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until our next video, have a good one, be safe, be kind, and cheers. Bye-bye.